If you're still listening to the public health community after how they managed COVID, there's something wrong with you because there's something definitely wrong with them. Now, there's very little chance that we're ever going to be able to get control of them because there's too many people out there who are just not critical thinkers. And the whole spike in the egg price right now that we're witnessing, that's the result of poor reasoning, bad thinking. It's more complicated than that in the sense that uh, there are things that we should be doing differently with our food supply in general. But just taking the food supply chains just as they are right now, they're, out, they're handling this completely wrong. And it, uh, it makes me weep for humanity that so many stupid people are in charge of so much. So let's just kind of go through it really quickly. This is an older uh, article, I realize. There are plenty of other more recent articles that are saying the same thing. Um, read that first paragraph. The U.S. is enduring an unprecedented poultry health disaster with a highly contagious bird flu virus triggering the deaths of some nearly 53 million animals. Now, that sounds really bad, and that is really bad. Wow, the virus is killing 53 million birds. We must act. We must do something. Wow, this is horrible. Yeah, what are we going to do? Th that paragraph makes it sound like it's the virus that killed those 53 million animals no we killed those chickens let's scroll down a little bit further here we go what's that what's that say right there some birds have died from the disease itself but the vast majority are being culled through flock depopulation to try to stop the virus from spreading well okay so does anyone remember something called antibiotic resistance Right. Why do we have to take the full course of antibiotics? We do that because if we don't kill all the, the bugs that we're trying to kill in our body, it's going to leave alive uh, the most durable and hardy of the bug we're trying to kill. So we'll have a strain that's left that is more uh, resistant to antibiotics and it makes it harder to defeat. Invert it now. What would be the best way to make chickens that are resistant to this virus? Is it to kill all the chickens? No. It's to let the virus do its worst. And then the remaining chickens are going to be what? What, friends? Come on, class. Come on, public health morons. What are you going to have left? You're going to have chickens that are resistant to that avian flu. And then what do you do? What do we do? We breed from those chickens which are now resistant. Voila, bird flu epidemic over. God, why are, they're so stupid. It just astonishes me how dumb they are. And, and some of it, it's more than that. I mean, there's the other things going on. They're, they're power hungry. Uh, they like being able to go in and just destroy businesses. Uh, they like the inf They want to be funded. You know, they're, they're basically just bureaucrats. If you fired them from one bureaucracy, like a public health bureaucracy, they would just find another job in some other part of government. They're, you know, they're not really scientists. They're, they're not practitioners. They're just bureaucrats following policies set by other people. But I digress. Or, or do I? You know, there there are going to be some risks involved when we're dealing with these things, I mean, yeah, there's a chance that um, uh, if you let the virus go through, it could uh, mutate and maybe it'll go and uh, start infecting humans a little bit more. But you really can't predict that. You don't You don't know that's going to happen. And just so we're clear, there's a risk already with the way they already are doing things. With how deadly this disease seems to be, for chickens at least, Another news source is saying that the r naught value on this is around 100 or so, which means that, you know, it's going to go fast. It's going to burn out quickly. So it's not going to really have a chance to do that mutation. As you can see from that little clip, uh, most of the birds are dead within 48 hours. And while it's a near 100% fatality rate, it's not a 100% fatality rate. It's only nearly so. So there will be some chickens that are left alive with the required resistance. You know, if this were humans we were talking about, 
then yeah, this is not the approach that we would take. But these are birds. These are our chickens. It's an entirely different thing. And all we're doing is making things a lot harder on ourselves and destroying our economy and destroying livelihoods for a really boneheaded and frankly stupid way to go forward. But uh, speaking of what to do if it, we were talking about humans, so this is really just a, a, another um, spin on what we saw with Sweden with COVID. You know, they just learned to live with it. They didn't do all the crazy lockdowns that prevented um, the virus from getting out of control uh, because people got it and they got their immunity and, uh, you know, it just sort of burned out. Compare and contrast that to places like Australia and New Zealand where they were all cocky. Like, oh, we got, uh, we had hardly any deaths. Look at us. We got the vaccine. And by the way, we threw each other into concentration camps. It was great. In order to save ourselves, we just sort of destroyed Western civilization and all these principles that supposedly make us different than Hitler. Um, I suppose they didn't throw anyone in ovens, but I wouldn't put it past them, you know, if it had gotten worse. But really kind of where I'm going with, with that is as soon as they opened themselves up, vaccinated or not, then the disease came in and they didn't actually spare themselves. They just delayed it. But uh, you can't expect anyone to, any of these people at least, to learn from these lessons. They're just not the kind of people who learn from lessons. We're, there's nothing we can do here. You know, they're going to keep doing what they're, they do in conservatives and Republicans and liberals. They're all, none of them have the courage to step in and say, um, hey, uh, maybe what we should be doing is um, developing bird flu resistant chicken flocks. No. In fact, if anything, what's going on is the various uh, pharma, pharmaceutical companies and vaccine producers, they don't want that. They they obviously want to produce a vaccine and they don't want resistant birds. They want ones that are only resistant after they receive the vaccine. So with that kind of big money flowing around and uh, the general weakness and cowardice of uh, politicians across uh, a number of political parties, you know, we're, we're stuck with this. So I have a lot that I could say about this as a produce farmer myself um, who does raise chickens. Uh, you know, I'm in tune to this more than you might think, but uh, we're toast. We're, we're run by morons and uh, it's every man for himself. We're all on our own. You uh, better start thinking for yourself because if you don't, uh, you'll have no one to blame but yourself at that point. Uh, good luck out there. This is Philosopher King 2.0 and I have spoken.